politicians, America, guns. It's an election year, that means people want to ban AR-15 magazines, so let's talk about the best AR-15 magazines that are out there now that you should be buying right away, maybe even by the case. We'll cover standard capacity, that's 30 rounds. High capacity, that's more than 30 rounds. And if you wanna be Massachusetts compliant, you can get a 10 round magazine. Uh, we'll talk about all of them, but first, let's tell you that we have a gun giveaway going on. It's happening right now. It is absolutely free. It ends really soon. So click the link in the description to find out which brand new gun you could win. So, Let's talk about AR-15 magazines in the terms of the gun banners out there, the high capacity ammunition feeding device. The magazine is really the key component of your firearm because most of the problems that you have with auto loading guns can be tracked back to bad magazines or magazines that aren't effective or worn out or dented or damaged or something like that. So what makes a magazine good? Well, it has to be durable. It has to work hard for you and it has to put up with a lot of crap because you're gonna drop it on the ground, you're gonna stuff it full of bullets, there's a heavy duty spring in there to keep the ammunition moving to the top. You want your magazines to work all the time. Metal magazines were originally built for the original AR pattern rifles back in the old days and they work, they're solid. They're, they are what was original military issue and still to this day we're issuing these, the typical metal magazine. Some are aluminum bodies. This one here from Dermag is stainless steel and built to withstand salt spray with its uh, finish and um, it's built tough. You know, we have the uh, um, corrugation on the sides to make sure they're tough. The one downside with metal magazines is that they can be dented and or bent and or they will set to that shape if you smack them with a hammer and drop them real hard or something like that. Magazine lips, the feed lips at the top that are actually holding the ammunition in place are very important. You don't want those to get bent or damaged and this good solid stainless steel lips and the follower down there um, long legs on the follower keep the follower from tilting. We talk about having the green follower, or in this case, the orange follower. Magazine components are made up of the housing, the exterior portion of the magazine, we call it the tube, and then the magazine spring inside and on the top of the spring is what's called a follower because it follows the bullets up. And I keep saying bullets, you know what I mean. Rounds of ammunition. Bullets are the projectiles that fly out. The entire thing is called a round or a cartridge. So the follower follows the cartridges up to the top. You wanna to have good, good, solid, well-built magazines um, that have good solid feed lips on the top to make sure that they're feeding properly and you want to keep them in good shape. You can disassemble many magazines, taking the base plate off, taking the spring out, cleaning the tube, cleaning the spring, and changing the spring and follower if you want to. And so this Duramag stainless steel magazine, functional, will work very well, and is set up to work for loading with the stripper clip from military ammo. If you don't know what that is, look it up. If you do know what it is, thank you for your service. All right, the Lancer. This is a hybrid kind of magazine here um, that is a polymer-based magazine, but it's translucent. You can see through it, so you can see just how full it is. Some magazines have little windows on the side. The next one just has a window. We'll show you that one too. And this Lancer translucent smoke colored magazine. Uh, people love to see tech. You can see the spring inside in there. You can see the follower. You see how it's working. You can see how full it is or how empty it is, how much ammo you're going through just by looking down at your magazine. You can also see if there's any debris or anything else inside there in the magazine. I like being able to see what's going on and I want to get a good, solid, well-built magazine and this one from Lancer works very well. The granddaddy of them all, the one that everybody compares against is Magpul. These people have been making components for AR-15 for quite some time and Magpul magazines are the standard by which others are judged. Does your magazine function and stand up as well as a Magpul? That's what everybody's going to ask you. If you buy a Lancer or you get any of the other brands that we're gonna talk about is how well does that magazine work when compared to a Magpul? Um, lots of folks are using these in lots of very dangerous places. They have bought these themselves, and I'm talking about US servicemen, have bought magazines themselves for their war kit 
or convince their bosses to buy Magpul magazines because they like them better than the original GI issue. Um, the GI issue, that's what happens when you go with the low bidder. This is what happens when you make the best magazine you can possibly make and sell it to the general public. So this is just a standard 30 round magazine with a window so you can see how full it is. And man, these just run and run and run. Um, during the last magazine scare, I bought some, I will say that, some Magpul magazines I step over the boxes still to this day in my gun room. So um, these things work and they function and <laughs> they're just outstanding. So on the other side, let's talk about getting something a little bit bigger. This is from American Tactical, um, the Schmeisser, they call it the S60W, built for the AR-15 slash M4 pattern firearm. This holds 60 rounds. Now, I've heard some people complain that they might not function as well as others because understand now not only are you getting the double stack, uh, a standard 30 round AR-15 magazine is, has the double stack, the, the rounds are offset inside there. You're getting kind of the quadruple stack as you get down in there deeper. And then the cartridges have to go through the narrowing gate in the top of the magazine to get them to fit in the magwell. One drawback of this for sure is it adds a bunch of extra weight to your rifle, but it allows you to keep firing without reloading. And again, you can disassemble these, take them apart, clean the springs, clean the followers, and make sure that they're working and functioning properly. These are tough polymer built magazines. I have never run into problems with American tactical magazines. Um, like I said, some people said they don't feed real well. I haven't had trouble with them shooting them. It's just a, a cool way to load up 60 and you know, what do they say? Load on Sunday and just shoot all week. You will have lots of bullets in there. This is a Magpul 10 round magazine. Now, Quick little history lesson, when the AR-15 was originally developed, it came with a 20 round magazine and the 30 round magazine came a little bit after when the US military decided that they wanted and could carry more ammunition on that firearm. But there are some states that require you to have magazines that will hold no more than 10 rounds. If you live in one of those states, one, I'll suggest you just take a quick look at Zillow or realtor.com, two, you gotta get magazines that are compliant to places like Massachusetts and California and other places that have the 10 round magazine ban or restriction on there. It's just your standard 30 round magazine, cut off shorter spring, dropped in there, the base plate is still there. These things are super tough because they're shorter than the 30 round magazine. So if we grab a Magpul of 30 rounds and a Magpul of 10 rounds, just by virtue of the length of the magazine, you can feel that the same material doesn't flex as much. These are tough, ready to go, and they make you compliant with your state. There you have it. Five different magazines from stainless steel through polymer from 10 to 60 rounds. Again, if you're considering buying AR-15 magazines because of what the politicians are saying now in this election year, these are five great ones. Take a look at them. Get out there and do your online shopping. Do you carry with a round in the chamber? Because if you don't, you need to watch this video right next to me because it's dangerous not to, and I'll explain why. Yes, you should carry with one in the chamber.